Hey guys, my name is System, this is Valheim, and today we're gonna do another uh, tips and tricks video, which is uh, pretty awesome. But before we do, I just wanna say thank you to all the support with these videos. Coming back to YouTube has been great with Valheim, and uh, yeah, it's just been exceptional all around, and you guys all rock. Also, if you end up liking this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you end up really liking it, go ahead and think about hitting that subscribe button. It's much appreciated, it helps the channel, and uh, I guess, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the tips. So in a previous video, I actually talked about scaling mountains, but I found another trick that actually works really well. Say you're scaling a mountain, you run out of stamina, and uh, you don't want to, you know, slide back down. So let's go ahead and make yourself a little ledge with a pick. Just leave your pick out as you're scaling the mountain, let it kind of regen a bit, then you can just do it again. Just super easy, super useful, just don't let your stamina run out, and just gonna make yourself makeshift platforms to come up the mountain, and if you come up the same path the next time, your little platforms will already be there, and you'll be able to scale it actually in no time, Really useful little trick, really awesome. Get you to the top of mountains in no time at all. So I thought this one was a pretty good one to start with. We all know that boats and carts are both very good for moving around with materials, but what you can do is go ahead and put carts on boats to move around even more, right? So you can go ahead, get yourself a cart here, really easy, just like that right there. Go ahead and just link yourself up to it. Build yourself a little rant here, and then yeah, just walk across, drop your cart, there you go. And this thing will sail fine now. You notice here there's nothing in the storage, does not show any weight. I do have a couple items here. It does not affect the weight of the ship. Still not even sure if that actually does anything yet. I haven't had anyone confirm whether that uh, actually affects sailing or not. But you can move around tons of stuff on a long ship. You'd be able to get six, seven, eight of these on here easily and just sail around. So really good way of moving around massive amounts of material. If that's something you're into, so you're out farming, maybe you're moving your entire base from one place to another place. You know what I mean? Especially if you're playing with friends has a lot of uses right a lot of uses for pretty awesome another thing i would suggest another tip here for the boats is when you park them make sure they're not near rocks this is one issue i've run into in my own world that if you like I, the way i had my base my dock i had like stairways kind of running down so i get to them during big storms and stuff or if they're near rocks or sometimes even just too close to the land they, they, they'll kind of bounce up and down up and down they'll end up taking damage and over time they'll actually get destroyed so yeah, pretty good tip. Do not uh, park your boats too close to rocks. Because you may be off in your base using portals to go to the planes. You're not using your boat anymore. And if it's not under the protection of a workbench, all those items may end up lost forever. So, yes, definitely take care of your uh, boat. As well as use the carts and the ships to move around uh, massive items. And okay, this next tip here is actually about getting access to wood you shouldn't have, I guess, earlier in the game. You know what I mean? So before you actually have a bronze... Um, axe, you know what I mean? You can go ahead and grab yourself a troll and then just kind of bait them into hitting these trees. I have some uh, pine trees here. I also have some, have some birch, which are the two kind of trees you're going to need uh, to be able to get the fine wood or you maybe just need some core wood to build some supports for your base. Whatever the reason, right? This is one that always gets uh, suggested on the video nonstop, but <laughs> I don't think it really takes that long to get bronze, but if you really want to get it really early, right? And go ahead and get yourself a fine wood bow, you know what I mean? And start doing more damage. This is definitely a way you could do it. These guys are really easy to bait. You just kind of, it doesn't even really take much stamina. You can really just beat the hits out of them, get you all that wood that you need and just get it done. There is another way to do this just by cutting down a tree and then you push this log say into the tree that you want to knock down. And then sooner or later, it'll actually break it as well. You can just use the uh, log to damage other trees. So nice little tip, pretty useful, I guess, for people that want to, you know, jump ahead of progression. But uh, yeah, pretty good one. And I uh, thought some people would like to see this because they may not be aware. And okay, this next one is uh, not going to be for everyone. Not everyone's going to need this, right? So this is for people who AFK a lot in the world. Not everyone does that, but if you're playing on a server where it's just running constantly, something like that, you always have that one daddy gamer in your group. I'm one of those daddy gamers, so I can talk about them, right? That uh, AFK is a lot, has to go look after kids, do stuff, you know what I mean? Go do daddy things, but they still have this AFK in the world. And if they do that, say in my base over there, if I AFK'd and had to vent and got a troll event, you get a big chunk of your base kind of torn up just because the monsters be all trying to get in there, especially with the trolls because if they can't get to you, they will break things, right? So this is just a platform. I'll show you what this is. There's four pillars here. There's four pillars away from your base. So they'll focus on the person that's actually on the platform and everything will be safe, right? You can go up here, you can AFK, everything will be wonderful. You can also do a different version of this one where you dig down in the ground and then... You can just put stone, just a stone layer over the top of it. And then, yeah, you can just AFK down there safe. It's just about having an AFK room and just making sure everyone uses it who's AFKing. So if other people are around, going around doing, you know, stuff on the server around the world, the vent, if it spawns on the base, 
the base will be okay, right? So pretty cool, pretty awesome. Works really well. Uh, these guys, I mean, they can't really do much to this. Uh, you would probably want to build this platform out of stone. I just did this really quick, but they can't do a lot. <laughs> they just sit down there. They may get a hit or two, but usually, I mean, if you're AFKing, you'd be AFKing up here and they'd kind of lose interest pretty quick. Also, uh, event mobs, when they're done, when the events end, uh, they usually wander off and despawn. So you don't have to worry about them being down here. So yeah, they won't stick around that long anyway. And uh, you're pretty good. So one issue I always have when I'm building is I always feel like I'm always moving more benches and stone cutters. I'm moving them constantly and moving them all over the place. And I have a little solution for that. And this one, I guess this tip is for builders. So basically once you figure out your foundation, so I have my foundation here, go ahead and dig out a hole and just go ahead and pop a workbench inside it and just seal that up and forget about it. And then you'll be able to, I guess, work inside your building, build it up, do all that jazz. And even when you're done kind of building it, if you want to come back and tweak it later, you don't have to have a workbench always in the building. Some of us don't like seeing them constantly, you know what I mean? You do need to make sure it's deep enough so it doesn't have that little floaty hammer thing on top of it. But as long as you do that, you can just cover it up with a roof and then you'll still be able to interact with the uh, building options in the set area with no issue whatsoever. So that's a pretty good one there for builders. And okay, the next one here is a little different one. It's actually for when you're looking for specific materials. Like say you're looking for a thistle, right? You're looking for it, having a hard time seeing it. You just come in here, turn down vegetation quality, do that or mushrooms, or would be, uh, I guess these blueberries right here. You'll notice that with the vegetation quality turned off, you're actually able to see the floor of the forest much easier and be able to hunt the stuff down. Actually makes a big difference, especially on mushrooms and stuff. Mushrooms are really hard to see, uh, the red mushrooms anyway. They are pretty bad, and it does just make your life all that much easier. And uh, yeah, also works in the swamp. So if you're looking for the, I guess the turnip seeds there, yeah, just uh, definitely really good little option here to be able to just turn that off and then you can turn it on later. Uh, I really don't like the way it looks with it off. Also, I have an army following me. But yeah, just a really good way to be able to hunt down the materials you need much easier. The next step here is actually a really big one. It's actually about death loops. We're going to go on about death loops here. You kind of have to deal with them, right? So I have a corpse way up on the hill. It is kind of stuck up there. I can't get to it. I don't have any more armor to bring. You know what I mean? All my armor is there, right? So the first thing you should do whenever you die, whenever you die is mark it right so this is my main death it's not actually this one it's this one right here i marked it that is the first time i died if i think i'm in a position where i may get back to my corpse i'm going to die you want to do this right away because if you die somewhere else which is right here this is where i died last it erases that marker off the map and you may lose your body and that's not a good time also you want to pay attention to that skill in the top left that is no skill drain it means if i die within 10 minutes of uh i guess again you know what i mean die again which hence the death loop um, you won't lose any more seals. So you want to go ahead and rush for your corpse as quick as you can. So that is very important. Also, you see here, I have a corpse and I go ahead and pick that up. I get an effect called corpse run. And this thing's really useful. Actually, you see here, I can kind of run up here. There you go. Run up through the fires and our stam actually goes down 75% less, which is really awesome and really good for us. So we can kind of benefit from this by kind of running up the mountain a little bit. You know what I mean? Going to it. And, uh, one of the key things about that, uh, I guess, corpse run is if you don't have an item on you, like a singular item, like this and this, um, one item in your inventory, it doesn't drop a tombstone, you can't get death run. So if you're at the point where you're coming back doing naked runs, you absolutely, I'm gonna kill that mob right now. <laughs> so, so go get rid of that. Uh, what is it, kill all? There you go, I don't wanna deal with that. Um, you won't get corpse run off the corpse and you won't get that stamp bonus. Another good thing to do is as well, make sure you have Ikther. If you have Ikther, you kind of run for it and get even more stand bonus, so it's really awesome. So right now, I actually run, I'm pretty sure, at a speed, uh, I guess, I uh, not a speed, I don't run any faster. You gain stam at a faster than you actually lose it. So that is actually really awesome, but you can just link these and just kind of cap it up there. You can see we're actually up to uh, 50 now of the corpse run, and as long as you have an item each time you die, you're good. And that hopefully will actually get you back to your corpse at a point where you can actually put your armor on, which is really awesome. And that's kind of how I do it. And there's a couple times, this actually happened to me a couple days ago, where I was on the mountain and I died in a horrible place. I didn't have any more frost resist potions. So I was doing this exact same thing right here. Uh, I didn't think of all these tips at the time, but I kind of came up with them later on. I did notice that uh, the thing with the inventory, right? So if you think you're gonna run up and there's a chance you're gonna die and you're doing a naked run, absolutely make sure you have, doesn't matter, one stone in your inventory. That way you can chain those corpse runs 
it'll get you that much further. So that's absolutely the thing. Also the fires, I did the fire chain a little bit as I was coming up here. That's actually what I do. I'd go ahead and grab a little bit of wood and then a little bit of stone, you know what I mean? And then always make sure I have at least one extra wood for my next fire, you know what I mean? To be able to chain it. Because I was on a mountain where there were tons of drakes. They were all over the place and was miserable. The two places where this usually happens is the mountains. And it also happens a lot uh, to people with the deathskitos because they have a real bad habit of uh, camping uh, graves. So they're actually kind of miserable buggers. Nobody likes them. And uh, this usually happens to pretty much everyone at some point. You just die at a very inopportune time. I died once moving a portal uh, with a boat ride. So I sailed for 30 minutes trying to get to the island. Then, you know what I mean? It's just horrible. It's horrible. And that's when you can't get your corpse back this easy, right? Because you have to make a new boat. There's no way you're going to have your 10 minutes on the skill drain. There's nothing to do about it. So, yes, chain corpse run. Use Ikther. Make sure you always keep one item on it, and that'll be awesome. Yeah, you just see, like, there's, like, no stam drain. There's no stam drain at all. It's minuscule. It's near nothing um, with Ikther alone. But once you add in that corpse run, it's 75% even less than that. So you actually gain when jumping and uh, running. So yeah, very good tip here. This will help you deal with uh, corpse run. I think in general, I think it's all pretty good tips, right? So that is awesome. And uh, I think I covered it all a little bit wonky. My head was all over the place, but I think you guys get the point, right? I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this uh, tips and tricks video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed making it. But as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Hope you guys all have a good one. See you guys next video. Later.